So, let's get the show on the road, shall we? Right now, I got Isaiah and Robertson with me. You're going to see behind the scenes of Poetry in Motion Edition. to the people, yeah, there ain't no equal, like the book of Exodus 11, 7, 2, the other nations is just dogs, orf, orf. just bark, shit, yeah, I got great art, every single time I put, I paint pictures like most art, or, or most art, yeah, shit, see my visions, or better, better yet, see my farts, shit, but anyways, I'm done with this, I'm word to art, come with your emotions. We're, we're really high up. We're on the six god level. Well, shout out to the six god. Six, six, six. Don't count me out because my skin color is brown. Shoot, I'm just like how y'all are. <laughs> the other ones, that's more darker too. Shoot. You know, hopefully we can unite people and bring people together. I'm talking about the color folks, not, not the other folks. Yeah, I'm throwing out that message because of the fact that nowadays, this is pitiful, man. You got, you got me. Girls being like men, men being like girls, shit. The whole order, like the whole family structure is out of order, man. So I'm, I want to throw people out of borders. That's how I be feeling right now. So that's why I want to help people bring this unity, bring this unity together, and you know, move on forth as the true kings and queens that we are. So, right now. This is some serious business right here. Shout out to Poetry in Motion for letting me uh, attend this right here. This is definitely super, super duper positive behind the scenes right now. You guys get to witness what I see. Poetry in Motion, Bad Habits, DYU, Disturb Your Universe. Disturb your universe, man. Disturb your universe. Go out there and get what you want out of life. Nobody else is going to hand it to you. You got to go out there and take it. But you got to be balanced with it. A little bit of Malcolm X with a little bit of Martin Luther King will always make the, the dream work. Program, yeah. Television, you know, they tell lies in your face all the time. Wants you to see what they believe in in the, in the queue, you know. It's ridiculous. Nobody doesn't take the time to be able to see their history and what forth and see upon how many people died. It's like died just to make you you know, do something, or just to be in the same place that you, you're in today, you feel me? Others others nowadays, back in the days of slavery, we, we couldn't read it, right? We had to be in the cotton fields, people on picking up cotton, straight cotton, gin, and all that other stuff, man. And, 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 and you know, sagging your pants down. Are you proud of, you know, trying to get this money by selling dope? Are you really proud of that? Are you really proud of that, just carrying a nine upon your hand and just shooting other people? Especially your own con. Like, come on, man. It's time to have a change. And I'm not talking about a change like Obama said. I'm talking about like the Book of Revelation type of change, man. You get my drift. And if you don't, then catch up. Because right now, I'm, I'm, I'm sick and tired of going down to, to dumb ignorance, man. That's, a, that's, the part, that's the problem with a lot of people. The Book of Hosea is 4 verse 6. It talks about that. My people is failing horribly because of the lack of knowledge. And right now, nobody doesn't have knowledge no more, man. But now I kind of understand following him. Out of this whole situation, he still pushes on, man. It's hard body. And also, and also Jeremiah Judah. Shoot, for all my Israelites that's out there. Shoot. Because they need to spit up some real truth. They give me that knowledge that I need to push forward. Blessings. What's on top of us? Hopefully people can understand that and realize that, yo, they don't give a damn about you, man. And at the end of the day, they don't give a damn about you. No matter how much you get, no matter what money, what clothes, what statue you win, they don't give a shit about you. So get yourself together, man. Because in the end of the day, in those latter days, y'all gonna get fucked up. And I mean fucked up. So wake up. $2 and you get me free. Depending, I don't know. Sure, I mean, 
if, if he's a if he's more of a mathematical person, you probably charge the person with interest and probably give him three dollars, <laughs> you know, or probably just give him two dollars because he just said it, you know, like paying off the books. I don't know, man. I really don't know. So, because I don't know if you're trying to trick me with the question or just try to get straightforward, but that, I'm just leaping into that. I used to, you know, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I used to be down with the Buddha. A lot, probably not a lot, as my, 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 my colleagues and uh, the rest of my homies, but you know, it does have its toll. But right now, I'm trying to change myself into a new path. Not trying to go with the herb and the Buddha anymore, man. I started to realize that by, by using that, it, it slows me down. Probably for others, it helps them in their process because it does have some medical, um, some medical um, herbs that, uh, some, what's the word I'm looking for? Some medical um, qualities that can help the person. And, uh, shoot. So, I'm gonna leave it as that. <laughs>